Hey guys, it's Tony back again, Horror in Todge. I hope everyone's okay. And it's um, day 10 of 31 Days of Horror, which is awesome. And uh, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So I've just stopped, I've just finished watching the first season, which is on Netflix, as you can see here, of Marianne, which is um, a French horror stroke drama i suppose but uh i'm going to tell you a bit about it because i really enjoyed it guys and um i just thought i'd do this one for today's you know 31 days of horror i know it's not an actual feature length film but i've just finished watching the last two episodes i did watch it in dub because it's french it's a french uh series i did watch it in dubbed english the other week and it was good then I've watched it in French as well, just to get the real, you know, real feel of it. And uh, it's bloody amazing. And it's um, an eight-part se series, really. So it's only eight parts, about 40 minutes each, so probably about six hours-ish. Really cool film, and um, I'll tell you a bit about it. So Marianne's uh, 2019 series. Uh, the programme creator was a guy called Samuel Bowden. Stars Victoria... Du Bois, uh, Tathine de Voigt and Alban Lenore. They're all French, so I'm not very good at saying them. And basically it's about the girl who you can see on the screen there, in the screen, because I've just finished watching it. Um, her name's Emma, and she's a famous author. She writes horror, um, horror novels and stuff. And basically she stopped writing horror. And um, this girl comes into a life who used to be a friend when she was in her old um, town, her old village. She'd, she'd been left there about 15 years. She left when she was a teenager and never went back to a mum and dad. She went to boarding school and sort of became an author that way. Never went back because you find out later on why she didn't go back in the series. And um, this girl comes and says, Marianne's back. Um... You know, she wants you to start writing again and she wants you to come back to, to, to the village. And um, basically, this girl, you'll see what happens to her. I don't want to tell you too much because if you haven't watched this. And then she ends up going back to her village anyway, where she's from. Like It's like a small sort of fishing town like on, on the coast in France. A really creepy place. And then you've got this... Um, old woman there who's possessed by Marianne's like um this witch who was around in sort of like the 1800s or something or 1700s and she sort of got cursed and uh, burnt alive sort of thing or buried alive because they thought she was a witch and she sort of comes back and sort of possesses people's body and gets them to kill people and do all sorts of weird stuff like um, take teeth out and wrap hair around like little parcels. It's really weird. Some of the creepiest imagery I've seen in a long time in this. If you like the first two episodes, like I watched it in the dark on my own. Oh man, and I and I don't get scared. But this is this old woman in this. Um, I can't remember her name now, Mrs. Debasca or something, something French. Oh my god, she is one of the weirdest. Her facial expression is one of the weirdest I've ever seen in cinema, really, or you know, TV. It's just really, really crazy. I'll just flick this on again, guys, so you can hope I don't get demonetized. Um, and yeah, so I just finished watching this now twice, and the French version, if you if you can read subtitle, the dub it the dubbing's okay, but the French version is even better because you can actually hear their voices change and stuff when they're possessed by this uh, witch. So yeah, basically it's this witch possessing people in her village, and like I say, it's on for eight episodes, so you get all her, all the Emma's backstory. Um, yeah, some yeah, really creepy stuff. All the backstory when she was a kid, what happened in the village, what's been happening in the village. So you know, since she's been gone, and look, that's the old woman there. She, oh my god, she is terrifying. And um, 
you know, you just get a whole backstory and she has to start sort of writing again to sort of get this witch, Marianne. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to say too much, but it's just oh, a really crazy ride. And I absolutely loved it. Amazing. Brilliant uh, French. Oh, so much suspense and uh, great acting. Like I say, great imagery. Some of the best I've seen in a long time for creepiness. Just, oh, yeah, just really good, guys. So if you've seen this, let me know, guys. I say it's not an in-depth review or anything. It's just a quick talk about it and, you know, nothing too in-depth. So Marianne, brilliant. Uh, nine out of ten for me for um, just, just great stuff, really. Just great stuff. And, um, yeah, really enjoyed it. So that's day 10, guys. Just thought I'd do that one because I watched two episodes tonight. So I thought, I don't know if I'm going to get another film in. So I thought, I'll just do this because it's really good and it's horror. And um, I think everyone should definitely watch it. Even in, with, even in dubbing, if you don't like subtitles, even in English dubbing, I think it's still really good. Really gets its point across. So, yeah. <sighs> what are you doing? There's my dog here. Look, look, straight in front of my eyes. Uh, yeah, so that's day 10, guys. Friday tomorrow, I'll catch you tomorrow with another episode, day 11. Uh, I've been Tony, I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching.